Good evening, folks. Boy, the plot thickens. It really... Hmm. Well, it seems that uh, Barry's girlfriend's sister threatened me. Something about she's going to do something with my head on their gate. <laughs> me a squammy. A squammy. She says... Now, this was in response to maybe a comment I did make on there saying, that's not Shaw's house. And basically, she has a sorry, sorry store and some space behind that. Uh, she doesn't own a house, okay. But the sister got mad and says, who says that's not her house? Well, not a big deal, whether it is or not. But I don't think my head deserves to be, you know, something with their gait. Well, she immediately took that comment down, the sister, and, uh, well, I screenshotted it, of course, <laughs> and I take that as a threat. Okay, let's look up Squammy. She's calling me a Squammy. Yes. Whoop. S-Q-A-M. No, maybe she's not. No, it's Squammy. Maybe. Not in the English dictionary, anyway. It's a, uh, a Filipino term, squami. She calls me swami. Good luck with that, really. But she wants to do what with my head on the gate? Man. Man I oh, no. I remember a song pertains to that. I remember this song. Swami. And then it did Swami. What a southern song. She wants to do something with my. Now, this, she was GF. Of God. I don't care. Put the, should have put him to work. You know? Shit, shit that he got off her to put the bum to fucking work. That's what I say. You know, free labor. Well, that's just a thought or an afterthought anyway. Too late now on that. Maybe he could make some pigeon jail or maybe find a cockroach and name him. <laughs> Who was that? He's on the island. And what did he name that uh, soccer ball? Wilson. Okay, Wilson. Maybe you could find a cockroach or a rat. <laughs> oh, what a devious laugh, huh? Well, maybe he could. He's going to need a friend. Well, anyway, you know, family's family. They're going to support each other. I mean, the sister knows he's a bum. Okay, she knows that. There's no future, you know, for her sister to be with this man. He's not going to get out of jail or he's not going to be able to come back into the country. So I know a lot of people are asking these questions. I mean, why is this woman with him and why is she supporting him so much that nobody's been able to answer? You know, we can speculate on a few things, you know, but, you know, we can't prove it. But uh, even the sister was in denial when... All over the newspapers showed the arrest and what he did. And he would never do anything like that. He's not that way. I guess you just don't know him. <laughs> Some people are, are going to be in denial. You know, it's embarrassment of the family. No, no family wants to be embarrassed. That's just the way it is here in the Philippines. In this culture. They don't want to bring any kind of shame to the family. So people generally will keep the shame out of the family. And it's a good idea. You don't even want to talk about that shit, right? I agree with the Filipinos. You know, keep shame away. But that's with any family. It's it's not just in the Philippines. Well, I'll give you an example. And this is just my thoughts. Of course, they're my thoughts. They're my, so let's just go with this. If I had a sister, bum right now, but if I had a sister that, let's just per se, a different sister and uh, she was with this real bum okay and this guy was a fucking loser money from people he had no future he's a jailbird never be able to come into the country again after my sister 
I mean, I would, in the best way I can to look. I love you. You're my sister. You got to be made to understand. There's no future with this guy. There is no future with him. We only want the best for you because we love you, and you're our family, and we don't know your head. Why are you protecting this man? Why are you sticking with this man? So countless people out there don't understand. Now I'm not going to insult the girl in any form or way.、I'm、not going to insult her at all. I just think that she's quite confused, and.、Uh, Maybe she doesn't want to see the, you know, see the light through the tunnel. What's going on with this guy? I don't know what's wrong, and maybe that's why she's with him. I've heard commenters say that all the time. But that's not enough to keep two people together. There's got to be a future, a promising future, where the guy is not going to be sucking the life and funding off the woman. Been going on. He's been with. We all know that. We've heard it. We've seen him on there. We. This is not just speculation. This we know it to be true. So, a lot of people say, "Well, don't say anything about her." Well, I'm not saying anything bad about her. I'm saying her choices, which you know is her choice. Okay, to、so、get real about it, it is her choice. A very questionable choice, and a lot of people have the same question. I don't get it. Get it? Has she not seen his ways? Does she not see he's sitting in the jail cell, and she's making conjugal visits for that? I'm against him. That he has to face that too. It's been the anniversary now of five months. Five months. He's in a lockup facility. You know. When you're a Filipina and you're in your thirties, you're not old, but the culture unfortunately sees it that way. It it gets harder to find a good man when you're in the Philippines. In America, well, you're not old at all. You're just the right age. You're good age. They see things differently in this culture in the Philippines. So I don't know. Just a lot of speculation that maybe she, I don't know, she can't think she can find another man. I mean, he does make an income, even though it isn't much. But he does make an income, and sometimes that's important to some Filipinos to come. Be it not a lot, but but as we is that enough to have a long-term relationship with a man? Does he have manners? No. Does he hurt Filipinos? No. Has he hurt Filipinos? Yes. Has he ten Filipinas? Yes. Did he? Yes. Has he made threats to people? Yes. Okay. Did he break the law when he did not? Years? Yes, he did. That's not an administrative bullshit. It's a crime. Yes. Will there be more jail time? Cert. Okay. Brings us back to the original question: Why would any circumstances see or support a man of this nature? Good question. Your guess is, as, except some of the things I mentioned. Let me tell you something: Ain't the size you with a guy, even if he was built like Johnny. Whatever that fucking guy's name is, the porn star. Substance to that, if that was the case, the guy's gotta have a heart. The guy's gotta have a soul. The guy's what valuable time is what many people are asking, and they're. Th- I'm just thinking, but it's been talked about on YouTube before. The question is why, why, why? Time goes by real fast. She could be with a very responsible man, whether he's Filipino or foreign, makes enough money to be able to afford not working so hard. Sure, she's a hard worker. I have no question. I'm supporting a little bit of her right now. She is a hard worker. It's going to be a hardship. She's going to be supporting him for the rest of her life. 
if he was out for some reason, he'd be still special. That's not going to change. He's still going to chase ass behind her back. When he was dating the last girlfriend, and this is the truth, he Facebook site uh, is a dating site. Uh, what the hell is the name of that? I mean, I know there's a fact. Okay. While he, oh, it was Sheila. Sheila. While he was dating, that's it, Tinder, Tinder. Tinder, while he was dating Sheila. And let's just said I know, pulled a little trick on him. Sure that this is true. Doing that time after time. To win. Filipino girl. Okay, they found his, uh, you know, on Tinder. She went and contacted him, and they began to have conversations over Tinder. He desperately wanted to meet her. This is when he was living. You remember when he was lived in a, a relatively, uh, relatively short walking distance to Jay Mall, you know, where the old uh, immigration, and I don't know if that was Minganilla or where that was. It was over there. could basically take a walk. Maybe it was a sl- slight, it was actually not really terribly far from where he was staying at the time. Okay, so he kept on insisting on meeting her and he pushed and he pushed and he pushed, kind of led him on is what happened. She was kind of playing with his head. She was never going to meet him. But she wanted to see how far he'd go. To see how loyal he was to his present girlfriend. Time was... And, uh... Um, well, she probably knows it now. But I think I've mentioned this once or twice before, actually. He has a cheating nature. He's afraid that his relationship's going to break up. He causes the breakups, but... What he likes to do is two things. Somebody, just in case his relationship does. So he has another woman lined up. That's his M does. You know, more than one is more. So while, you know, the cat's away, the mice will play. So when his girlfriends are not with him, he's on a dating site talking to another woman trying to get, you know, especially if any of his girlfriends he calls his girlfriends. For some reason, he could do whatever. He's got all that time on his hands, and he's lonely. He, he, this woman. Okay? So, he'll line these people up. Okay? That's his M.O. I know this, was, this is not made up to make a story. Look, I'm not making money on it. Coming on my screen, there's not anybody talking. 14 people listening. I'm not making up. This is what he does. And that's why I, I think girlfriends got everything wrong. People are simply turned about a, an illegal overstayer. You know, she was breaking the law as far as I'm concerned. Go. I, I could have made a case out of it. I decided, fuck it. Just let it go. Okay. But I think overall... People just didn't understand the relationship. Body new to history, and they're thinking, oh, not see him for what he is? Does she not believe what he's done? Hypnotized like he did with his other girlfriends that think that he was this law abiding person, faithful in every way? I mean, his bad manners alone. Spitting up projectile phlegm, cigarettes of people's property for them to pick it up. Foul language. Doesn't bathe very often. I mean, these are elements that... And chain smoking. But chain smoking. These are elements that most Filipinos would stay away from. That's why the people that have been following this guy and seen his habits and seen his ways, they're all scratching their head. They just want to try to understand. But he's against Barry's girlfriend. And guess what? I'm not. A, really not. I'm really not. It doesn't matter what she says to me. She's trying to protect her boyfriend. I understand that. I get it. Okay. You know, that's the boyfriend. For whatever reason you're with him, you're with him. Protect him. I get it. It's just that people don't understand why. Okay. They don't get it. I don't get it. Nobody gets it. When it righteously not put you in fear, not threaten you, not hold you as a hostage.
okay? That is called and defined as criminal things. There's wonderful guy that I believe she could meet. Who you know? Ah. kind of explain where I'm where I'm going with this okay I know she's probably listening to this show and here's my direct okay I think more or less more concerned about you knowing uh your boyfriend's history and, uh you but I don't hate you um and I don't think anybody actually out here hates you either I don't hate you I feel sorry for you because we've all witnessed the girlfriends that he's had in the Philippines. And every one of us out here can prove the fact that he's been unfaithful to all these women. Can prove his history. Smoking in excess. Him getting into trouble in bars. Him ruining Filipinas' lives. That he ruined a lot of them. I think, if anything, you got it all wrong. I think people out here are just more concerned about, okay? That mattered with that, that are actually concerned with you. I know you're upset that your boyfriend is get in jail. He broke the law. First law of immigration was not a It's a crime. For seven years, he didn't pay his fees like all of us foreigners have to pay. It's against the law. They him calling me a child molester. Don't you not get it yet? What is it you don't understand about this? That there are laws about this. You can't do that. You can't do that on a live shows. What is it that you don't understand about this? Is what I, you're making me the enemy. Your enemy. You're being some pretty shitty thing to a lot of people. A lot of good people. Ruined people's lives. You ruin your life. I think people are just trying to reach out to you. That's all they're trying to do. You're being very defensive. People are just trying to reach out and say, Hey, come on, man. Do you know what you got yourself into? Do you understand? It's bullshit. He's going to get this case dismissed, all this crap. That's not true. He's beyond that point. Like yelling when he got beat up by Ricky, you're you're going to jail, you're going to jail, jail. Well, your boyfriend kept on smirking. Nobody's gonna put me in jail. Nobody's gonna get me deported. Well, you were wrong. He was wrong. These are crimes out here. These are crimes, repeated over and over. You want to defend him? All right, I know, you're his girlfriend. I understand that to a certain level, but beyond that, I don't. You know, we all make choices in our life. I made bad choices in my life. We all saw a job or a relationship. I think that's all. mad at everybody. You're mad at me. And your boyfriend put himself there. Basically, he is going to have it, at least on the immigration part, but I'm sorry. But you as a child predator and you're not, it's not a nice thing to say. You could really ruin somebody's reputation. That you don't understand about what your boyfriend did. Protective of him. When he don't give a shit about you. He just needs you the closest thing in his life. He's grabbing onto a lifesaver. He's grabbing onto a boat, throwing the water when something because he's got nothing to understand got to understand well you got to understand a financial gain to him you are a session with him you are somebody porting him right now in fact he doesn't want to lose you there's too much to gain the crowd speaks out it's been talked about on how many shows for how many years Everybody is a you. It happened with Sheila. She wasn't aware. So she woke up. She was supporting him verbally, every other way. Do that, even though she heard him say horrible things on a show. 
She was live on the show with him. She heard him making threats. She heard all that, but she still, but she stayed by him. That happened, and they broke up. And she finally realized that this guy was a fucking scumbag. Some people don't wake up unless there's an explosion. Okay, some people it's just hard of hearing, hard compromend, uh, compre- comprehending uh, what's going on around you. The guy's a bum. People, I think, just care about you. They don't have to know you personally. They're probably saying this poor, innocent Filipina, what did she get herself into? Well, when it comes to her, I really do. I mean, you understand? I mean, he did some real stuff. Why he wound up in jail? And there's going to be a lot more jail time. You got to understand. He's got five counts of cybercrime against him. He ain't going to be let go into America and be able to come back. It's not going to let him or just deport him, even if it isn't able to come back and deport the individual. Now, immigration can make any decision. They, they can write the laws, rewrite away with this. The likelihood of that happening is like zero. Are you a betting person? I bet you lose your bet. Don't hate me. Just understand what you got yourself into and understand that people out there that comment about this all the time, they're just trying to show some respect. They're just trying to show some care. They're trying to open your gorilla glue. You're not seeing what's in front of you. He's a liar. Man is a chronic liar all his life. All his life. He's very good at what He convinced every single woman he was with. He was the greatest guy in the world that everybody was wrong about him. But then they all found out that everybody was right. So what are you missing here? That's what I want to know. What are you missing exactly here? What is it you just don't get? I copied that, man. You You really don't. Right now, dealing with your boyfriend. and You have no future with him. Face the reality. Okay? Face the reality future with this man you are shorting yourself of your own future that's my message to you that's my message i have really nothing against you other than maybe the fact that you support me but i could forgive that you're his girlfriend i understand how that shit works me you're the one that has to understand what you got yourself into not an honest person he doesn't have any his health is also see your future you better consider that too person around is very sketchy okay you already know the details of how the operation of law work okay he's not going to be deported and probably for a very very long time and let me also get back into this just a little bit right now your boyfriend's waiting for an arraignment that pretty much means his first hearing facts of the case why he's there blah 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 that could be a long time from now Okay, so say you get to that point of the arraignment. Okay, there's no line. There's going to be that is required with all cases. And I'm not going to agree to arbitrate anything. I'm full steam ahead on this one. He's done too much to harm my character. There's no forgiving on it. I'm letting you meet meeting because I have to. There's nothing that's going to resolve. You know what? There was a point. There was a point until he became smirky in jail. There was a point I was going to just let immigration do what they're going to do with him, and I'll, I'll drop my case. I'll drop my case. I was going to do that at one point. I never told anybody that. The comments he made, this guy just can't change. He can't change. He won't change. He needs him. He needs a lesson. I didn't, I didn't do anything wrong in regards to this man. Myself? He had no right calling up my girlfriend's children. Calling up, he was messaging them on Facebook. Pardon me. Let's keep the. Why would he do that? Why would he call me convicted of as being a sex offender? Except to change my own door. I raised her since she was five years old. Child with diapers. And when some man comes out and says that kind of crap on me, on public media. What do you expect, Myra? You to say, say it again. What a nice boy you are. No, 
No, dear. Things work in a real world. Let's just say that he's better off than, okay? He's better off. Nobody else, person. He wouldn't be alive. Now, fortunately, I'm not into violence. You're wrong. But there may be somebody else he could call that. As nice as I am. Got to think about that. People are a lot less than that. Somebody else he said this about who would have took a different action. Who would have taken a different direction. Be happy about that. I didn't take that direction. He's good where he is. He's protected where he is. From other people that he's also called the same name. Or has taken money off that he owes money to. Now, I don't know. In your mind, that's really keeping you to further this relationship. You're not going to be able to get married. It's just not going to happen. Under the circumstances, it is... No matter what he's feeding you, he's not feeding you the right information about his future. He's not, and how much sense it makes. He's not an innocent person and, and can't trust him in a relationship. You can't trust him with matters of money. He wants women to support him. He's even said in the past, I don't want a woman without a job. He said it. What is it you don't understand about you? There are people out here that probably feel for you. That want to see you get a good and people are not attacking you. I'm not attacking you. I wouldn't do that. Legal reasons and any other reasons, morally. I'm just saying, we know and I know what he's done with his girl. A lot of people. It's called being concerned. It's, not, it's being concerned. We know the guy. And we think that he's bad enough that deal about him. We are trying to prevent these things from happening in his life that he touches, or man, ruin. So-called good friends like Cliffy, he f he fucked people over on what he call I, I, who acted as security. He fucked them over on a computer that he saw that he the guy friend. Then your boyfriend turned. We know what happened to the guy. He had, wasn't working for a while. A letter from the government saying that he was responsible for this lending company for this amount of money, 25, 26,000 pesos. They could have went to others, had to bail him out of this situation to pay for the court for your boyfriend who denies got that computer from the guy. Anyway, I'm done with my speech. If that's your choice, it's your choice. Ever say that I or anybody else on here hasn't warned you what you got. If you haven't figured it out so far, well, not going to say anything to that. Just read my mind. I'm carefully, trust me. I like the threat from your sister. And by the way, your sister didn't understand. When your boyfriend's picture was all over the newspapers... Of the crime he committed with the immigration and the knife he pulled out in a bar on a bartender about that. Does this guy have you hypnotized? Is he a professional hypnotist and we just don't know about it? Or are you that gullible that you believe everything lady people? He's an expert on it. He should have a PA with what's good at I'm just hey, I'm just speaking my mind. Hate you. I don't care to know you. Hey. I don't, th but I think I'm just one of the people out here that are quite concerned because we've seen this happen over and over again. That's all I have to say. And I think I said it pretty well. You don't understand what I said? Well, I don't know what to tell you there either. You can't be that dense. You just can't possibly be that dense. Not to see what's going on in front of your eyes. Not to figure out that this man is not a good man, he's not a good person, he's not a good soul, he's not a good future, he's probably lied to you more times than you could count or even imagine, making promises for the future of marriage and everything, it's not going to happen, I'll end this by saying there is no future with this man, I'll say there is no 
future with this man. You wait, emotion and soul on a total fucking loser that's going nowhere. Nowhere.